Last season, the Hopkinton Hillers boys soccer team came close to a playoff spot, but fell just short with a 7-9 and 1 record. This year, they look to take a step up with good experienced leadership from this year's captains. Uh, my name is Nate Pucci. I'll be a senior this year and I play center back for the soccer team. My name is Connor Delaney. I'm a senior and I play forward for the soccer team. I'm Owen Delaney. I'm also going to be a senior and I'm also a forward. I asked the captains what they are working on during the first few practices to get ready for the season. Yeah, so practice have been really good so far. We had tryouts, double sessions last week, and we've been training really hard since. Um, we've been working on a lot of shooting and finishing drills, um, as well as some short passing drills just to get uh, in shape and ready for the season. Yeah, um, yeah, we lost 12 seniors last year, so there's a lot of new guys this year. So a main thing in practice is beginning some team chemistry, trying to you know, get some guys who are going to be working together to play together and just trying to get the group as a team. That's one of the main goals right now. Yeah, a big thing we've also been doing is working with different formations and kind of just seeing what suits this team best. We got a lot of speed and strength this year, so um, we're just practicing the formation and hopefully getting one that suits us the best. This year's team features some good experience, but also some young up-and-coming talent. Despite the fact that there are only six seniors on this year's roster, the captains believe this year's team is capable of achieving great things. Yeah, we'd really like to make uh, to the state tournament this year. We've missed out on uh, the last few years, and so we really would like to make it this year. I think we have a solid team and a good chance to do it. Um, we'd also like to go pretty far in the TVLs and hopefully be one of the top teams, if not the top team in the TVL this year. Um, yeah, I have high hopes. You know, I want to win the TVL. I want to make tournament. And overall, I just want to have a winning record, which we haven't had in a while. So this year, I hope this is going to be the year. Yeah, like these guys, I obviously want to make tournament this year, but also like our job to shape these new kids so because they'll be potential leaders next year so we can just keep the program going in the right direction. Hiller's boys soccer head coach, Garrett Sawyer, enters his 14th season and also has high hopes for this year's group. Yeah, we graduated over 10 players who had been in the program several years uh, and some strong team leaders. So I feel like this year's team is going to forge a new identity because it has a lot of new players coming up. But there is some talent in that group, and I think we're going to uh, put a really competitive uh, team on the field. Uh, we also have uh, really good leadership from the seniors this year. It's a group that sets a strong example on the field and pushes their teammates. Uh, in terms of what we're working on, I think we're working on figuring out what style of play is going to fit our team's strengths. I think that's going to be a process this year because we have so many new players to figure out what's going to work best. So uh, in addition to that, we've been working on conditioning and getting game fit as well. And uh, you have uh, three uh, good captains this year. Uh, could you talk about uh, the group of captains that you have? Yeah, Owen Delaney and Connor Delaney are two of them. This is actually their fourth year in the program. They came up uh, halfway through their freshman season. Uh, to be part of the team um, a few years ago. So they are uh, true veterans of the program. Uh, and uh, no one works as hard and uh, plays as hard in the field as they do. So they set a great example as the, uh, um, that way. And then Nate Pucci is the third captain. Uh, he has a lot of leadership positions in the school, uh, in student government and other organizations. So he's got a lot of practical leadership experience. So I think those, uh, those three combined are really going to uh, hit all the positive aspects of leadership.